Jones, in light of New Year's Eve this weekend, it is important that people stay safe on the roads and say no to drinking and driving. And joining us today to talk about the dangers of impaired driving is Dr. Alfred Croto, an acute care surgeon at Hartford Hospital. Dr. Croto, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me this evening. Of course. So impaired driving has led to a lot of wrong way crashes this year. What are you seeing at the hospital? You know, uh, impaired driving is a problem throughout the year, but the trauma centers here in Connecticut and around the uh, country have seen a significant uptick in the number of alcohol-related crashes uh, this holiday season. In fact, um, New Year's Day is one of the deadliest days uh, for alcohol-related crashes. Nearly 60% of all crashes that happen on New Year's Day are have alcohol uh, related to them. And that is why it is so important to talk about this this time of year. Um, as a doctor, what would you like to tell people? I mean, how critical is it that we address this? So I think um, it's particularly critical because these are preventable injuries. In fact, um, you know, one of the things we say is that the only thing more tragic um, uh, than a death in the holiday season is one that's preventable. Uh, last year, 28% of all crashes in December involved intoxicated drivers. Uh, these otherwise um, avoidable uh, collisions put a huge strain on the healthcare system and healthcare workers. And that was going to be my next question. I know that so often this is not the first time people drive impaired. Typically, it's many times before a crash happens or they get caught. So being a provider in the emergency room, what is the impact of seeing impaired drivers or even their victims? Right. So it, it takes a large toll. Simply put, these unnecessarily add to the congestion of already busy emergency rooms and trauma centers that have or they're seeing uh, flux capacity uh, around this time of year. Um, and that leads to a lot of negative downstream uh, impacts for other patients, plus the psychological toll on bedside providers. Uh, at this time of year, we're supposed to be joyful and together, uh, and seeing these alcohol-related injuries really just puts a damper on everyone's festivities. I bet, and you guys have such a tough job as it is, and we appreciate everything you do. So your recommendations as people celebrate the holiday this weekend, what are they? Yeah, so, so a, a couple of things. One, um, plan a safe ride home before you start to party um, and, and choose a, a reliable designated driver. If someone you know has been drinking, get that person home safely and make sure that they're not behind the wheel of the vehicle. If you do choose to drink, don't drive for any reason. Call a taxi or a ride share service or get a designated driver. Um, and if you are hosting a party, make sure that um, all of your guests leave with a sober driver. And lastly, and probably most importantly, always wear your seatbelt. It's the best defense against impaired drivers. All right, Dr. Croto, some great advice. Thank you so much and have a safe new year. Thank you so much for having me. Have a wonderful and happy new year.